you can use a background image to create a cool animated parallax style effect. And this is the effect we're going to be recreating. And the great thing about this effect is that once you've created it, it's very easy to change the image. So we're going to start off with a blank slide. And the first thing we'll do, got some shapes that I drew earlier. I'm going to pick up these three circles and paste them into my slide. I've also got a rectangle that is the full size of the screen. I'm going to paste onto my slide and I'm going to right click and center back. And these are all the shapes I need for my effect. I'm now going to set the background. And for that, I click off the slide, right click, choose format background. And I select picture, insert from a file and pick the image I've chosen. Now, when we select all of these items, we can right click on them, go to format object and choose slide background fill as the fill. Now we can add the animation effect. We'll click on the circle in the middle, we'll go to animations, drop down box, and choose grow shrink. You can see what's about to happen there in the preview. So if we click on the animation pane here, we'll better double click on this, and we'll better choose a much smaller size for this effect, something like 110%. Slow it down a little bit to about three seconds. And we'll give it a smooth start and end, about a second. That looks good. And we'll also set it to auto reverse. So it'll zoom in and then shrink. And under timing, where it says repeat, we'll choose until end of slide, so it will keep looping. We can now easily copy this effect from this circle to the other circles and the rectangle background using the animation painter. You click on the item that's got the animation on, then double click the animation painter, and then click once on this circle, once on this circle, and once on the rectangle. Now press escape to get out of the animation painter options. We now need to go to the animation pane, shift select to select all four of these, and choose to start with previous, which means that all the effects will happen when you go onto the slide at the same time. Now the only thing to make this effect slightly better and work well that we need to add is a slight delay on the, each item as it comes on, probably about half a second. So we'll add half a second delay to item number two, one second delay to item number three, and one and a half second delay to item number four. And for the final element, we'll just go and get the text that was on the original is this, copy it from that slide, paste it into my new slide, make the text white so it's visible, and play. Very cool looking effect that's quite simple to set up. Once you have made all the shapes and the animation on this, it's very easy to change the image. If we just right click, on the background as before, use Format Background, go to Insert Picture from a file, and then we can select a different image. And because this is a background image, all of the elements that use it will update automatically. 